Ferrari is set to unveil its first EV by the end of 2025 before sales start the following year. The supercar maker has opened a so-called e-building in its hometown to produce the car. Now, the aforementioned Charlotte, of course, uh, visited the car maker's new factory in Maranello. I would sooner do loads of Alain Prost um, <laughs> references, of course, uh, he being the most famous French driver of all time. But, but you, you thwarted my ambitions by peeking over at me on the internet. So, so I, I won't knew be you comparing. were up to no good. You knew what I was up to. I won't be comparing you at all to Alan Prost from now on. No, certainly I didn't have like the nerves of steel you need to have in this very <laughs> fast car when I was driving with the CEO. But look, quite an experience there. We're up those Italian hills to show the performance of this car. That one, the white we drove was a spider a hybrid. And you know, it goes from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in under three seconds. Terrifying. When it wants to go Absolutely fast, Absolutely terrifying. it goes fast. By the way, I just have to say, I'd be exactly the same as you, living in fear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but look, uh, Benedetto Vigna, when he joined um, uh, Ferrari back in 21, he presented the ambition for the luxury car maker in 22, and they, he wants the company to go carbon neutral by 2030 and uh, expand the offer of hybrid and EVs for Ferrari. So by 2030, Ferrari would be offering around 20% of internal combustion engine and 40% hybrid and 40% will be EVs in terms of the products they will be offering to clients. And they're very much doing that shift, and they inaugurated a new new building, 200 million euros e-building that they inaugurated just a couple of weeks ago. And the new EV, we don't know the name and we don't know the price, rumored to be around, around half a million euros for the new EV that will be unveiled at the end of 25 and go on sale in 26. So we went to Maranello to visit all this and discuss with the CEO, of course, the hometown of Ferrari, where the very first Ferrari came out in 1947. Every single Ferrari since has come out of this place and we had a chance to discuss the new prospects for the company. A brand recognized by its style and sound. Ferrari, the historic Italian car maker, famous for its roaring engines and slick style, is opening a new factory here in Maranello, speeding into the electrification era. And this could be a game changer for Ferrari and for the whole EV industry more widely. The e building is not just an industrial building, no? it's mm -hmm. our capability to demonstrate uh, the execution plan of our industrial building already shown during the Capital Markets Day in, uh, in June 2022. There's a really, really a blend of solutions, uh, not just uh, for uh, the actual production needs, but also for the next future. So we are desired to leave free all our R&D engineers uh, to dream the Ferrari of the futures mm. without any manufacturing constraints. A fully electric Ferrari is expected to be released by the end of 2025. I think that we have to go electric because we have uh, to, to keep uh, our uh, client always engaged with their emotional side okay. and to do this you can do in different ways okay you can do with uh, in the past we were doing only with thermal cars in the recent future we started to engage the emotion of the client also with the hybrid mm -hmm. propulsion in the future we will offer them also the possibility to have this kind of emotional feeling engagement mm -hmm. with electric cars so it's a way to show that emotion can come from different technologies. By 2030, the luxury car maker plans that 80% of its product portfolio will come from electric and hybrid models. If it wanted to, it could continue selling internal combustion engine vehicles. But the fact that it is pivoting towards uh, selling electric vehicles shows that they want to do this. There is a consumer appetite. Ferrari's bet on EVs comes at a time where other car makers are becoming more cautious in their demand outlook. But is it just about the cars? Can Ferrari convince even the most die-hard petrol heads to go green? The fact that you're, you have a company that has such a rich heritage in internal combustion engines, the Ferrari sound, uh, pivoting towards selling in electric cars, it does showcase why electric vehicles are so attractive. Um, you can get the same Ferrari driving capability uh, with an electric vehicle, uh, the driving performance, as you would an internal combustion engine. Actually, the acceleration is better. Here at Ferrari, it's impossible to separate business from emotion with history and heritage as important as innovation. Nothing encapsulates this better than that one moment when the car starts and you hear its roaring engine. Will Ferrari's EVs be able to reproduce this emotion?
Let's start from this car. We are sitting in a nice car. This is 296. It's called 296, 2.9 liter, six cylinder hybrid. So it means that you have a thermal engine mm -hmm. and electric engine. It's nice. Very nice. Car enthusiasts will have to be patient before they can take the new Ferrari for a spin. Waiting lists are already years long. But the CEO says that this is just all part of the Ferrari experience. So as you heard from the analyst in this package, Ferrari don't need to go electric. They won't be impacted by the ice ban that will come into force in Europe. They're considered a micro producer. They produce only 13,600 cars last year. And, you know, they're a very different business model from all the other car makers. They're a bit more like an Hermes. They sell less cars than there is demand out there. It's like a pyramid kind of scheme. You need to start buying the basic models before you're allowed to have access to the other models. So it's a different model altogether. And certainly we saw from the strategy for, from uh, Mr. Vigna, is to sell less cars but make more margin on them and going to EVs allows them to do that even more because they will sell for more money as well so that's part of the strategy that it's trying to expand at the moment and just very fascinating to see the heritage of course the connection with Formula One that gives them a bit of an edge technologically as well to do some of those tests of these new technologies and so we have to wait and see again there was big questions about the noise of the engine is starting. Can an EV reproduce that? And say it will. That will, it, and it won't be a fake sound. It will actually be um, a mechanical sound that will come from the car. And they say really we don't do fake sounds at Ferrari. It would be the real deal.